What would happen if you stopped sleeping? Oh, I don't need to read this. I had a baby. Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'll be your teacher. In honor of back to school, I am making book cakes, which a lot of you have asked for. And in particular, I am making the ASAP Science book. This is one of my favorite YouTube channels. And this book is so informative. I needed this book in high school so I could have understood science. Where was it? You want to see me in math class? Here's me in math class. That's not acting. That's not sarcasm. The minute they added letters to math, I was like, posse out. To make this book cake, I baked two of my favorite chocolate cakes. I made a Italian meringue buttercream, I used colored fondant, and I even made some special back to school accessories. We're gonna get started. Time to take notes. The first thing you need to do is subscribe to How to Cake It. This is your textbook. Is there something funny, Miss Jocelyn? There's no laughter in here. Miss Jocelyn? Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Miss Jocelyn? I'll stop. Thank you. I'm making four book cakes to create my stack. I'll get three books from one 12 by 15 chocolate cake and one book from one nine by 12 chocolate cake. I begin by removing my cakes from their pans and leveling them to be completely flat. If you wanna learn how to level the way that I do, there's a link to a video tutorial below. Now I'm gonna cut my 12 by 15 inch chocolate cake into three books. Let's pretend this book is my cake. I cut the cake vertically, then I cut off all the edges of the cake. And then I cut this first piece in half horizontally into two layers, or rather two books, and this other half of the cake became my third book. I trimmed the edges off my nine by 12 inch cake and left that to be one big textbook. You know those books. They weigh down your knapsack, they hurt your shoulder, because you can only wear one strap. Is that still cool? What's cool? One strap, two strap, what's cool now? I now have four books ready to be simple syruped and crumb coated and chilled. Simple syrup is simple syrup. It is a syrup derived from an equal part of sugar and an equal part of water boiled together, cooled, and then sprinkled or sprayed or brushed onto your cake to help your cakes retain moisture. There will be a quiz next Tuesday. I use my recipe for my delicious Italian meringue buttercream to crumb coat my cakes. Link, recipe, try it out, it's good. I crumb coat my cakes and get those crumbs nice and stuck to every single cake. Once my cakes are crumb coated, I ice them and chill them again for about 10 minutes. My cakes are nice and chilled and ready for the first stage of fondant. I'm going to create the pages of a book. This texture here that you see when a book is closed. First I measure my largest book and what I measure is all the way around where you see pages. And then I make sure to roll my fondant as long as that. Once my fondant is nice and thin, about an eighth of an inch, I then make sure to measure each book, the height of each book or the depth of each book. And then I cut the strips a little bit higher than the book is. And then I roll the strips on a little rolling pin and roll the fondant out all the way around. Just like this, see that? I love having a prop. Usually it's just my hands. All four of my books are now covered around the perimeter and I'm going to use a strip cutter to indent the lines that mimic the pages of a book. I use my strip cutter to just lightly press all along the cake and just make that ribbed texture of the pages. 
Then I take a very sharp paring knife and I trim my fondant level to the top of the cake, as well as any that's overhanging past the spine of the book. Just trim it nice and flush. Now that all of my books have pages and they're looking great, I'm going to begin to cover my books and give them a cover and a spine and then also the bottom cover. I actually start with my ASAP science book, The Scientific Power of Naps. Yes! Make sure to measure your books before you begin rolling your fondant. I made sure to measure the length of the book and then the width as well as the depth of the book. I like to roll my fondant out a bit bigger than my actual measurements. And then I trim a one inch band from three sides of the perimeter, the page sides. And we're gonna save that strip, we're gonna put it aside because that will become our bottom cover. But first, we're gonna pick up the main piece of fondant and we're gonna drape it over our cake, starting at the base of the spine and bringing it over the top cover of the book. And if you have a lot of fondant hanging over, what you wanna do is trim it really quickly and leave about a quarter of an inch hanging over your cake. I create the indent on the spine of the books by laying a ruler on my book and then using a sculpting tool to just slowly press into the fondant. Now it's time to trim our top cover. So what do we need to do? Flip it. I like to use a bamboo, bamboo? Yeah, that sounded like a funny word when I said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I like to use a bamboo skewer. I just lay it up against the pages and I hold it tightly against the cake and then I cut with a really sharp knife right along that bamboo skewer. And I do that on all three sides. And then I just round up the corners with my paring knife, nice and trim. Now that our top cover is nice and smooth, we're gonna grab our piece of fondant that we set aside and create our bottom cover along the book. So I grab my paintbrush and I start to apply some piping jelly along the bottom of the pages along all three sides of my book, just a thin little line. And then I take that piece of fondant that we reserved and I quickly wrap it around the bottom to create this bottom cover. And I press it in nice and tight against the book, making sure it's secure. And now we need to trim both the bottom and the top cover to be an equal size. I take my skewer and I lay it on the fondant, butt it right up against the cake, and then I take a sharp knife and I cut right beside the skewer to give me an equal line all the way around the three sides. For the corners, I just take my knife and neaten them up a little. One book down, three to go. I'm going to repeat this process and I'm gonna create a red book, a yellow book, and an indigo book. My red book is covered in satin ice red fondant. My yellow book is covered in white fondant that I dyed using Wilton golden yellow and Wilton lemon yellow. And my indigo book is white fondant that I colored using Wilton royal blue and Wilton violet icing colors. My books need titles. For the letters, I roll out white gum paste and black gum paste. And then I used some beautiful letter cutters that I have to cut out different fonts for each book. The bottom book, the red book, is Algebra 101. It, it's only algebra on the outside. The inside is just chocolate goodness. I would have passed that algebra, that's for sure. The only math I'm good at is multiplying or dividing a recipe. That's it. The yellow book, because that's my favorite color at the moment, is how to cake it. You're in that class right now. This is your textbook. The third book is Hamlet, and I cut out Hamlet from white, and then I painted it silver. I brushed on a little bit of vegetable shortening and then brushed on a silver luster dust right onto those babies. Time to apply my letters to my books. I use just a little bit of piping jelly with a fine paintbrush on the back of each letter. And then I like to use something to help me line them up, whether I lay a pencil underneath or a ruler, just so I'm not putting the letters on crooked. 
Just place your letters on the side of the spine, press them on lightly, voila. Now it's time for the crowning glory of my cake, the ASAP Science Book. This one actually doesn't have any cutout letters. I had to hand draw this whole cover. So of course I picked a book with the most letters possible. I rolled out gum paste to the size of my cover as thinly, thinly as I could. I also trimmed it perfect to the size of my book and then let it dry overnight. Then I made myself a template of this book by simply photocopying it in my printer. And then I cut that out and I laid it directly on my piece of gum paste. And what I like to do is run a pencil over the letters. And what happens is it leaves a slight, slight indentation in my gum paste to help guide me. Now I'm just gonna go for it. I used food markers. They are markers that are filled with food coloring that is completely edible. You draw with them just like you would a real marker. A great tip when using food markers is try and draw from the top down. They can take a little while to dry, so you don't wanna risk smudging it or just having the heat of your hand and your arm smudging it after you've done all that hard work. I can't believe I got all this done in like nine minutes. Basically for every minute you see it's an hour. <laughs> like, am I wrong? Nope. Yeah, see? It's like light years. It's cake years. It's cake minutes. I'm gonna move on to the other three details, the beer mug, the brain, and the ear. I begin by taking my template that I used earlier and cutting out these three elements. I dyed my white gum paste the flesh tone color by using Wilton Ivory, and I dyed the yellow using Wilton Lemon Yellow. I take my little shapes, I place them on the right gum paste, and use a very sharp knife to cut around them. I then enhance each one of these shapes using a food coloring marker, black, and just copying all the lines you see in the brain and the ear and the mug. It's time to place the shapes on my cover and finish it off. I adhere them with a little bit of piping jelly. And then I also have to draw on these little like sparks and bubbles coming from the beer. The science of brain freeze. I could have used this for my ice cream cake video. Before I apply my gum paste cover to the ASAP Science book, I wanna get all my books stacked. So I begin with my red algebra book. I'm putting that at the bottom because there's no way I'm reading that. Then I put my How to Cake It Yellow book on top of that book, then Hamlet, and then my ASAP Science book. And once they're all secure, I place my gum paste cover right on top. The nice thing about this stacked cake is because they are all short and they don't equal more than six inches together, there are no dowels. Listen, cakes are serious. And the best part about these books, I don't have to read them. I get to eat them. I'm gonna cut all four books at the same time. I wanna try all these subjects together. I decided to cut the part of the book with the brain image because there's all this talk about brain food and obviously this is what they're talking about. I conquered all four subjects at once. And I think I deserve an A plus, even in algebra. I wanna thank my students for coming today, all of you. And my live students, Jocelyn and Chet. Thank you, Chet, for the apple. You're welcome. Why am I getting horrible love? You didn't bring me a thing. What did you bring, Jocelyn? I'm gonna, Your laughter in the background? I'm gonna edit this video and bring that to you. I can't eat a video. I will see you all next Tuesday at 11 a.m. sharp.